In this lesson, we'll explore how different communication methods and technologies can be exploited by cyber attackers and the measures to mitigate these risks. Message-based threats are common and include methods like email, SMS, and instant messaging. These platforms are often exploited for phishing attacks, where attackers masquerade as legitimate entities to extract sensitive information. Emails are frequently used for phishing and malware distribution. The 2017 WannaCry ransomware attack, for instance, spread through phishing emails containing malicious attachments. SMS and instant messaging can be used for smishing attacks, where text messages contain malicious links. Instant messaging apps can also spread malware or be used to trick users into divulging sensitive information. Image files can contain hidden malicious code, a method known as steganography. Once opened, they can infect a system. This technique was used in the 2017 Bad Rabbit ransomware attack. File-based threats involve malware embedded in documents or software files. Users downloading or opening these files can unwittingly install malware on their systems. The NotPetya attack exploited this method through a compromised software update. Voice calls can be used for vishing, where attackers impersonate legitimate entities to extract personal information or financial details. This method was used in various IRS scam calls. Removable devices like USB drives are common carriers of malware. The infamous Stuxnet worm, targeting Iranian nuclear facilities, was initially spread through an infected USB drive. Using unsupported systems and applications poses significant security risks, as they no longer receive security updates. The WannaCry ransomware attack heavily exploited vulnerabilities in unsupported Windows systems. Unsecure networks, including wireless, wired, and Bluetooth networks, are susceptible to various attacks like eavesdropping or man-in-the-middle attacks. Public Wi-Fi networks in particular are common targets. Open service ports can act as entry points for attackers. Ports left open can be discovered and exploited for unauthorized access or data breaches. Regular port scanning and closing unnecessary ports are essential security practices. Devices or software with default credentials are easy targets for attackers. The Mirai botnet attack exploited IoT devices that were using default usernames and passwords. Supply chain threats arise when attackers target less secure elements in a supply network. The SolarWinds attack is a prime example, where malware was introduced into the software's supply chain, affecting thousands of its users. In conclusion, understanding and mitigating these common threat vectors and attack surfaces are critical in strengthening an organization's cybersecurity posture. Regular assessments and proactive security measures are key to safeguarding against these threats.